screenshot. Ugh. Drag it. Crop it. Save it. Instagram. Post it. Story. Ugh. Oh my god. Good Lord have mercy. That's a beautiful woman. Anyway. Post it here. Let them know. Got it. Hmm. What next? Anywhere else I need to post it? I guess that'll be good for now. Yeah, man. We is in here. Let me click the go live button on the tube. I need to put a thumbnail on this video too. Let me do that while I'm in here. Go live. YouTube. -y. There it is. Edit. Compilation. Compilation. Thumbnail. Save it. Edit. Customize. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I guess I'm done. There we go. Now we talk. Oh, damn. We already got 187 people in here. Look, I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to get the uh live stream set up for y'all we in here baby who is this who is that up there who the first one up in here we got uh we got oh wait hello we got a moderator that was first this evening we got brandy brandy was the first one up in here this evening y'all sabrina was the first channel member caroline second miss hatcher third rochelle fourth ken fifth what up wave what up claire what up uh peyton what up pie pie what up, Jason? What up, Omar? What up, Hunted Expedition? What up, Free Kick? What up, Zachary? What up, Nick and Crochet? What up, Brittany? Cinnamon Cupcake, King Cole. What's good? My usuals. I'm, I'm, I'm used to seeing y'all. It's just, it's always a good time. It, it, it feels like, it feels like, you know, when you have like a little family get together, you know what I'm saying? And you look and spot everybody that's here and who's supposed to be here and who's not here. And every time you spot somebody that's here, it's just like, oh man, look. That, we about to have a good time. You just know it. You just know it. We is in here. Lost Cause. Crystal was good. Linda, how you doing? Yeah, man. Jeff, Libby, Natalie, Deshaun, Keith Simone, Zakira. Yeah, man. We is in here. Chef E.R. E was good, girl. Miss Anitra in the building. Elizabeth, look, look, folks know. Folks know. They know. It's Thursday. It's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's time for a live stream. Man, it was a nice day outside today. Y'all, I literally just woke up. I'm about 15, 20 minutes late to the live stream. I just woke up. I got. It was a long day for me today, man. I got home like around 6 o'clock. 10 minutes later, I was passed out. I, it was coming. I... Shit, I had to stop for coffee on the highway just to stay alert. And it was doing a whole lot of nothing. I got home, still crashed. That that two hours sleep for like 20 minutes because, man, I woke up. I was like, oh, snap, I'm about to be late for my live stream. I didn't get any work done today that I was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, man, I had so much preparation for tomorrow's live stream and, and shutting down a website, I'm going to spend all day tomorrow doing all that. Taking pictures of merchandise and everything for tomorrow's Patreon and channel member only live stream. Same time as today. Be there. Be there. It's going to be a good time. I can't wait. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I already know people are saving their coins. 
because they want early access to the new stuff, the new merchandise that's coming. Guess what came yesterday, y'all? Guess what came yesterday? Another order of samples for the blankets. And when I tell y'all, they're huge. <laughs> that's the ones. Y'all gonna get the big ones. Y'all gonna get the big ones. But it's gonna be from the first manufacturer, but y'all gonna get the big ones. Cause the big ones cover you completely. I don't look if you six foot three, you it goes up to your head. This is you go from your head to the flow. You you good to go. Nice and wide, wider than the ones that I showed y'all. Look just as good, because it's the same ones. It's the same ones that y'all are gonna be getting. But y'all gonna get the size of the ones that I just got yesterday. Don't worry. It's gonna be all it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be all good. Trust me. But I got them washing right now. No, they're drying right now. Maybe by the end of this live stream, I'll be able to pull one out the dryer so y'all can see what it look like. But anyway, we're about to get into the show. What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks. And just like that, we back with another one. Y'all know when I do the intro, that means it's time to click on the video. We got almost 400 people up in here. Hit that like button for your boy. We got two videos this evening because I'm, I'm still trying to get some work done for real, for real after this live stream. So we ain't going to be in here too long. Just two videos. Just two. One from Bizarre Bub because he finally got a new one out. And then the other one from my man, Slap Hand. Slap Ham. All right, enough talking. We got enough people in here. Let's go ahead and get this show on roll. Y'all, this is Bizarre Bubs Scary Comp V88. Currently sitting at 2 million views. It better be good. Better be good, man. People's watching. Let's go. On October 10th of 2023, a toy camera captures footage of a girl playing with her toys and talking about her day. The entire video is nothing more than just a miniature vlog, as all she does is talk about her day and what she plans on doing with her friends in the following week. Get them dolls away from me. But there's something about this video that has left the girl's family deeply unsettled. You're messing around with my little sister's camera. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna show it to you. Just, okay. That's a, it goes without- That's a good little camera. Dang, but the video is pretty creepy. The following is the full video from the toy camera posted by the older sister. Take a look. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my scary toilet collection that I just got today. I don't like it. Um, we went to a toy store and they had- Bro, what the world is she holding in her hand? <laughs> this thing is- Ugly. If this was a real man, you wouldn't want it in a doll form. What is that? The big old ears hanging out on the side? Yellow teeth? Cricket nose? I don't understand. Why? All of these things, like this kind of man, these tiny little action figures, this big skinny toilet, and this one. And then we actually found these scary toilet shoes and they say scary toilet on them. And I'm going to wear it to school tomorrow. A lot of kids at my school like scary toilet. Um, Bruh, the thing, this thing she holding, the head is coming out of, the, of a toilet. You can barely, the, the audio is not that great on that little camera. But she said all the kids at her school love the little skimmy toilets or whatever the heck she said it's called. What the what? Ugly heads coming out of a toilet? These kids nowadays, they play with some strange stuff. The freak with the vibration, my whole room just vibrated. And my friend the other day, and we went on a walk, and we also got ice cream that day. And I'm having a lot of. Bruh. 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 Bro, what the freak? What's going on with this child? What's she looking at? What's going on? Yo. This is not okay. Bro, I just got finished watching the imaginary movie a couple days ago. Look, this... I don't like it. 
This this is bringing back memories right now. That movie was a really good horror movie. Bruh, bruh, dog. There's something in there. Get rid of them dolls. You gotta get rid. Them dolls gotta go. Cause they they bring some nasty little energy. That, that that's probably what. Y'all, what did she see? It was something in the corner of that room that had her locked in. Oh my, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Oh my God. Oh my. My whole room vibrated again. I don't like this video already. That was a shadow figure. What starts off as an innocent video turns into something completely different. Midway through the footage, something catches her attention. But after seeing whatever it was, she's immediately put on edge. It's as if she was paralyzed with fear. But thankfully, she was able to leave before mm. things got a whole lot creepy. Mm -mm. Only a few minutes later, we see this. A dark figure passes in front of the tent. It's hard to make out what this was, but her older sister is certain that this is what her sibling had seen. Now it's unknown if she's asked her about what she saw, as the only information on this video is the context she gave. But until there's an update, we won't know for sure what was there. So until then, you be the judge on what was captured. No, the little girl couldn't explain what she saw? No, I need to know what she saw. Man, it's in that creepy doll right there. You need to get rid of that. Woo, that was creepy. Gave me those heaving jeebies. In this next video, a grandmother is celebrating her birthday while being surrounded by friends and family, all of whom are singing happy birthday to her. Happy As the video plays out, it seems that this footage is nothing more than just a normal video of someone recording their grandma, or at least it seems like that. Because as you continue to watch, something happens that makes this video the stuff of nightmares. This is what was caught. <laughs> Bro, that don't look like birthday cake, though. That look like... That... That look like Salisbury steak with fruit on top. Man, I didn't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not gonna say oh, whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Nobody saw that? As everyone that thing was way too fast. It went behind her. Collectively sings, a shadow-like figure bolts behind the ground. Oh my god. In a swift motion, the figure is gone. Yo, what the freak of nature? That was crazy. On. It rushes over at full speed, but not so oh fast God. that we can't discern what this was. As viewers have noted, it kind of looks like a child, or a girl to be exact, who's running at an inhuman speed. Perhaps it was running so fast that no one had noticed it except the camera. Nah, uh-uh. That couldn't have possibly been a human being. There's no way. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. No. this video becomes a whole lot creepier when reading the description it came with as it states the grandmother in this foot you know what miss humble i thought the same thing right after i said sounds very steak i'm like kind of look like a swiss cake y'all know them little swiss cake things but a, a massive one with whipped cream and fruit on top that's kind of what it looked like who would make one so big footage had a daughter who unfortunately passed away many years ago when she was alive, she would often run around the house while playing with her older sibling. It's for this reason that she believes that this was her spirit. That's crazy. They had a little girl that passed away that used to run around the house like that. Bro, in the afterlife, she gained super speed. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured. Was a ghost caught on camera or had something else been caught? No, that was crazy. Uh-uh. 
I I didn't want to say it. It felt so mean and not mean but bad to say. But I can't help it. I feel like grandma wishes this was her last cake because her facial expression, she looked like she just don't want to be here. She don't, I don't think she want to, uh-uh. And then that ghost thing came behind her? Shit. That might be the mini Grim Reaper. It's late at night when a man gets something on camera that leaves him extremely unsettled. Bro, the baby The man tripping. recording this is known as Drosa, and on this night, he was looking after his little niece and nephew. He was taking care of them all by himself when his niece began to point at something in the dark. Drosa, their uncle, didn't think much of it until he noticed that she wouldn't stop pointing at the spot. Nothing appeared to be there, so Drosa wasn't sure as to what she was seeing. But as she kept on pointing, he began to think that maybe something is actually there. Feeling immensely unnerved, he records this video. Then this door is wide open over here, man. Or just, I don't know. She's like looking over there like there's someone over there. She's freaking me out. <laughs> Look, she's pointing, see? There's someone over there. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Who are you pointing at? Who is he? How can we keep pointing? Where's he at? Is he Go walk over there with her. Over there? See if she'll be willing to go over there. Well, tell her on like first, please. Who is he? I'm not really sure who it is, but... Yeah, she's like, point upwards. They must be tall or something. Look, she's pointing again, look. His niece would not stop pointing at this spot for some reason. Even creepier is that she points towards the ceiling, suggesting that whatever is there is most likely tall. But as if things couldn't get any more creepy, Drosa records this. What? Yeah, she said something though. Like, it's crazy because like, oh, no, I'm just babysitting my niece and nephew. My nephew's right here. Then it's her and then she keeps pointing at something. Bruh, and then a sound just came from that area? Oh, heck no. What the heck? It, uh, what is that? She picks it up and gives it to him. You got to get out of here, man. You got to leave, man. Honestly. He's telling it to you're go. You're not welcomed here. Leave. He's telling it to go. Wherever you are, leave. You're scaring my niece. Look, she keeps pointing at you. Nah, bro. He's scared you. Ah! Be honest, my guy. It is scaring you. Man. Imagine if it just ran up into his face like, I ain't going nowhere. Boy. He gonna faint. Get the f*** out of here, man. Just when things were getting... He supposed to be babysitting the be the kids. I think this little girl babysitting him. <sighs> Just when things were getting tense, this happens. An object unexpectedly falls towards Droza and his niece. It's almost as though something had thrown it. Caught off guard, Droza is left speechless, but only to a certain point, because later he vents his frustration with whatever it was that was messing with him and his niece. You gotta get out of here, man. You gotta leave, man. He then stops recording and decides to ignore it. Despite everything, he still, to this day, has no idea as to what his niece was seeing at this hallway. Hey, my. At approximately 3 p.m. Shout out to you. Thank you for the donation, big baby. Somebody else dropped the donation, too, I think. Yeah. J Dream. J Dream says he's not getting any notification for the live stream. I blame YouTube for that. I blame YouTube. Try unsubscribing and then resubscribing and see if that will change. And turning on, turn off the bell and turn the bell back on. YouTube be tripping. They don't want a, a brother to live. A mother grabs her phone to record something highly unusual that just happened. This odd occurrence had taken place around the back entrance of the house. She films this video, hoping that it happens again, but only this time on camera. Right. The only other time she's recorded this door was when one of her dogs had cracked the glass on the window pane. Although initially extremely upset, she now looks back at this memory with great nostalgia, as recently her dog was put to sleep. But fast forward to this exact day, and she's once again recording this door, when suddenly this happens. Even when it's open, it shows up. Move! Can you move? 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 Can you move?
Can you move? She's coming back. Oh, oh, yo, it's like a dog is out there. Yo, yo, the silhouette of a dog is out there. It's her dog that just passed away, probably. Oh my god, that's crazy. Me? He wants to come back in the house. Aww. It disappeared. Yo, what the frick? Oh my God. The dog want to come back in? Oh my God. That's amazing. That was too cool to witness. I'm so glad she got that on camera. It's coming back. Yeah, look. He's, oh, yo, it's back. That is crazy. Look at that. This is not edited, man. They're all seeing it in real time. That's crazy. Closely, a distinct outline can be made out. What looks to be the silhouette of a dog can be seen on the glass. It appears out of nowhere and stays in place as though waiting to be let inside. But it's only there momentarily before seemingly fading away. The family no doubt believes that this was the spirit of their belated dog who was sadly put down. Aww. Although deeply saddened, they're happy to know that their presence is still here. Ghost or not, this footage reassures them that even if they had no choice but to put them down, their beloved pet will always be there no matter what. That's awesome. That is too cool. I'm so glad this video, that video clip made it to Bizarre Bub so that they can make it here on this channel. That is probably one of the best ghost clips that I've ever seen. And now it's in my top four or top three favorites. In the following video, a group of friends are playing with a toy known as Simon, when out of nowhere, things take a very creepy turn. Now it's worth noting this toy only has one function, which is to generate a pattern of lights and sounds for the player to memorize and win the game. All right. Okay, so please. It's a simple game of short-term memory skill. However, in this video, it appears that the toy was acting beyond its intended purpose. Rather than generating patterns, it was answering questions. Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, is my shirt black? Oh. Dude, oh, dude, it's... This thing is possessed, man. This, this thing is possessed. possessed. Uh, That's good, no. Am I a girl? Dude. Now the video was taken at a house party where a group of friends gathered in the hostess little sister's bedroom. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. The young sister was away from home. They had grown bored of the party downstairs, so they hung out here with all the toys and games. But little did they know that staying up here was a big mistake. This is their I'm gonna see if somebody in the chat gonna say it. Video. I remember this game too. Dude, it was acting up earlier. Yeah, crazy. You guys keep in here. That was, was all good. Really? Yeah. This woman just said, you guys can't be in here. And then one of the guys responds, somebody, Alice, let us be in here. And then she said, really? And now it's being fast forwarded. This thing is possessed, man. This it's thing really is possessed. All right, okay. Uh, There's a little girl sitting on the floor. Y'all saw that? Why they not letting her play? Ask her question. Ask her question. I mean, I guess because they're not playing. What color is the sky? <laughs> is it going to answer blue? Wait. Uh, yeah. I guess I need to ask yes or no. Maybe. Is the sky blue? Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, how is this possible right now? Dude, come in, come on, ask your question. It's, it's, it's possessed. It's like broken. How did they figure this out? The girl, she sounded like a dumb blonde saying that it's probably just broken. Nah. 
this is this is beyond broken. This thing's supposed to have simple functions that it's supposed to display and you freaking follow along. It's not supposed to be able to hear you ask a question and then give a, a response, a yes or no response where it hits red or green. No. That's beyond broken. That thing's possessed. Dude, dude, get over here. Ask it a question, dude. First of all, it's trying to get yours. Who is this chick? Get her out of here. She sounds so stupid. She just said, first of all, it's not even yours. Who does it matter who it belongs to? Do you not see what this thing is doing right now? Get her out of here, y'all. Who is she? She is She is dumb. Dude, dude, get over here. Ask it a question, dude. First of all, it's not even yours. It's kind of exhilarating. Dude. Yeah. Am I black? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, dang. He is. <laughs> oh, that was dirty. Oh, that's, oh. It knows. Like on the green button or something. Get this girl out of this room. She is aggravating the heck out of me with her stupidity. Look. She saw the boy asking a question. Am I black? She saw that nobody was touching it. It was sitting on the bed. And it went green. And she said, you guys are probably laying on the button or something. You see nobody touch that thing. Do you enjoy being dumb? Is that is that your life? You just want to be the dumb one, right? Is that what it is? Because you're, 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 leave. Just leave. Look, 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 look. Am I black? Am I black? Oh <laughs> Nobody touching it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was dirty. Oh, that's, oh. It's it like on the green button or something. Uh, that's good. No. Am I a girl? Oh, yeah, so it knows. Dude, it knows. Dude, so this, it knows. Thing's, this thing's, it's like uh, one of those Ouija boards, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. It knows. Oh. My mom's played before. Yeah. Have you gotten that seen horror movies? Oh, dude, let, the picture, dude. The picture. Oh. Oh, heck, nah. She drew that. Who drew that? Yeah, dude. Dude, this will actually, like, tell. Okay. Are you with us in this room? A duh. Like two fingers on it or something. Oh, oh, no. oh my gosh, it's so creepy. That is so creepy. No way. All right, he should have been a bit more specific, and maybe why, that's why I took this thing so long to respond. But he pointed at this drawing as if the drawing, the the image in the drawing is the ghost of the spirit that is inhabiting this this toy, and he's like, "Are you?" with us in this room and it said yes this little girl has been drawing a figure that looks mad creepy and they're communicating with it right now through this device and if you saw the little girl was like balled up on the floor like chilling in fetal position but you know sitting man it, uh look that movie imaginary Y'all should, y'all should watch it. I highly recommend it. Hey, dude. Okay, uh, is this find that thing? Dude, it's just on the floor, man. There's a bunch of jump scares in that movie. Go to the movies. Go to the movies if you haven't been in a while. Watch Imaginary. Yo, are we actually hunted right now? Dude, I'm like actually kind of scared, dude. Yeah. Um, like, what even is that? You should put that down. Like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's get real crazy. The heck? We just heard what knocking. Did you guys hear We're it from the there? second floor? What? The window? Oh. Okay. It, it came from right here, yeah? There. You see that? We're on the second floor. Oh! Okay, oh, alright. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> That's crazy. They just heard knocking on the freaking window and they're on the second floor. Man. Alright, that's enough. Uh, that's enough. That's wild. Feeling totally creeped out. The group hurries out of the room, leaving everything behind. The tap on the window convinced them that something strange was indeed happening. 
According to them, it didn't make sense that someone was outside tapping on the window, considering that they were on the second floor. There was also no balcony. If no one had been outside, then who or even what was at the window? While the group has yet to come up with an answer, they can't help but think that the figure in the picture had something to do with this. Viewers believe the toy was being used as a conduit for communicating with the group and that the drawing, which may be the child's so-called imaginary friend, was responding to them through this toy. Bruh, imaginary? I already don't like it. Although it's not certain if that's the case, the friends fully believe that it was. What color is the sky? I believe it too. <laughs> Wait. It, it only responds to yes or no questions. Uh, yeah. I guess I need to ask yes or no. So then, just what exactly was going on here? As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Okay, that was pretty good. That was also, that was pretty, well, we are, look, y'all, we got over a thousand people in here. You look, yeah, you look, welcome to the show. This is a freaking great video. Y'all might want to go back to the beginning of this live stream and catch up, because this, this is crazy. Y'all hit that like button for your boy. We're trying to get about 800 likes. By, by the end of this live stream, we got about 10 more minutes to this video. Y'all said, talk to me is good? Okay, I want to see it. Where, where, hey, where is talk to me streaming? I'm going to watch it for the first time with you guys on Patreon. Y'all let me know where that's streaming so we can watch it together on Patreon. FTL, baby. This next video was recorded by a father who swears that something unexplainable was captured on his baby monitor. It was on December 20th of 2023 when this incident took place. Around 9 p.m., he and his wife were having playtime with their two kids before going to bed. They usually play games such as tag or hide and seek. But unlike other times, something happens that to this day the father can't explain. He records the footage of this incident on his phone. Take a look. That's cute. He's playing hide and seek with the wife and his kid. That is too cute. No way. That scared the mess out of him. The door flies open and you hear somebody say something like, hey, or something like that. Scared the mess out of him. If that was his wife or kid, they got him good. That's why he's laughing. He's, he's laughing. She got you. Your wife got you good, man. She got you. Bro, he just knew, he just knew his wife was in there and she's not in there. He laughing cause it's like, hi, hi, babe, you got me. <laughs> no, something else got you. Bro, game over, game over. Everybody come out. Everybody come out. Oh, there she is. Thank God this was on camera. If it was not on camera, nobody would believe this happened to him. Holy moly. I was literally just thinking watching the last clip or one of the last clips we just saw. I would have cameras in every room, every room of my house. Recording. Because you never know. You never know. Felix, what's going on? Thank you for the donation, big baby. That's crazy. Bruh, shout out to Bizarre Bub with the fresh new content. I ain't, we ain't never seen none of this stuff before. I love it. <laughs> All right, here. Oh, I, this is just me. 
You're stressed out. You didn't even what? see what happened. How you exactly? You're stressed out. You didn't even see what happened. I might need to change my diaper. Thinking that his wife or kid was hiding in the closet, he waits for them to come out. But unbeknownst to him, no one was inside. Understandably, the father was totally freaked out. He swears that right before the door opened, he heard a voice. Hi. hi. Yeah, hi. He's like, dang, they got me. He's, he was waiting for them to come out. Nope. Back at this clip. Oh my god. I never play hide and seek again. Rest assured that he wasn't just hearing things, but rather having actually heard something. Despite having no explanation for this odd occurrence, the family has been getting comments from those who believe that something supernatural had occurred. But regardless of what this could have been, the family is adamant on keeping the closet locked. As they state, they'd rather forget about this whole incident and hope that it doesn't happen again. Shit. That's cr Bro, what would y'all do? If this happened to you, what would you do? Would you move out? Would you get a priest to come do a seance or, or something? Bless the home? Would you do like them? Which I feel like a lot of people would just be like, uh-uh, we're going to lock the door and just pray that nothing like that ever happens again. But what if it does? Oh, heck no. Heck no. We in here, y'all. 1100 Live. Hit that like button. We got 500 people in here. Hit that like button. We try to get 800. Y'all think I can do 800 for your boy? If we could do 800, I'll do another video. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. This is crazy. Now this next video comes from a woman named Morgan Lambert, who while being on a farm in the Appalachian Mountains, captures something pretty spooky on camera. The exact location of this farm is unknown, but Morgan mentions that the property is owned by her family, who've had more than a couple of paranormal experiences on this land. The video starts off with Morgan recording a silly moment with her husband, who came along with her to visit her family's farm. They're here to check the property, as recently, strong winds have struck the place. But as she vlogs, something happens that prompts her to stop recording. As Morgan claims, her own voice was heard coming from the distance, beckoning to her husband. Mind you, she was right next to him when this happened. Take a look. No, you gotta... So we're on an adventure. <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds. We're gonna check it instead of my dad. Oh, God. I'm freezing. It's cold, isn't it? Pretty. Shout out to Angelique for joining, for joining us on Patreon. Background, but if you listen closely, the words baby and hey can be made out. But further adding to the weirdness of this incident is the fact that Morgan didn't hear anything. Based on the footage, her husband was the only one hearing the voice. I just said, oh God, I... Really Upon hearing it, he was totally spooked. With no one else having been there, the- Hey Amanda, I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Just woke up from a nap before the live stream, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good. This last video comes from Edgar V, and in this footage, Edgar is recording a toy mirror that belongs to his daughter. She's been playing with this toy ever since Edgar's neighbor had given it to his family. They've had this toy for quite some time, 
but as of recent, they now think it's best to get rid of it. Why? Edgar says that just a few nights ago, he was passing by his daughter's room when he heard her talking to the mirror. It sounded like she was having a full-blown conversation with someone else. Now, it should be noted that this mirror does actually talk. It would say pre-recorded things like, hello, or hi, I'm the magical mirror. But this time, it was saying things that didn't seem pre-recorded. From odd responses to creepy questions, the toy seemed almost alive. In this short clip, Edgar and his wife interact with the mirror. I already don't like it. Now, viewers couldn't help but notice how quickly the toy responds. Right. According to some, it seemed a little too fast for an average toy like itself. Some have even pointed out that it shouldn't be speaking as they themselves have this exact toy, but theirs doesn't talk or say anything like Edgar's. It's for this reason that the family decided to store the toy inside their shed. Over time though, Edgar's children would come in and mess with the toy. From scrapping it to beating it up, a number has been done to this mirror. Because of this, Edgar had to replace some parts. But nevertheless, the toy still works. In this short clip, he shows the toy once again as viewers want to see if it gives the same responses as last time. But as he films, he gets this. <laughs> Hola. Hola, encantado de conocerte. Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. <risa> Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas y chingas a tu madre. Just like before, the toy talks back at the right time, as though responding like a real person. Yeah, that's wild. How does this thing respond so quickly? And it's like, it, it knows what you're saying. Usually toys, when they have these little, you know, command options where you, you can talk to them, you you have to say certain stuff a certain way for them to answer. Like, and they might only have, dang, five to ten response max. She's having a full-blown conversation. No matter what you say to her, she can respond. And she responds quick. It, nah. No, something ain't right. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. The fact that it also says responses different from before has convinced the family that it's unlike any other toy. Facts. They think that it might be cursed or haunted. Whatever the case might be, they don't. Bruh, even the display, if, if this is the same toy, even this ain't right. Because the white little girl is looking at you through the mirror and looking at you this way too. That This, this is not the reflection. This makes no sense. Whatever the case might be, they don't want to mess with it and think it's best if they keep it away from their home. Get to it this out. day, the family has yet to know what exactly is going on with this toy. Get it out of the house. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. Melissa gifted $5. I meant five channel memberships. <laughs> we got five new channel members in here. Make sure y'all thank Melissa. Look, y'all going to be welcome to tomorrow's members only, Patreon only live stream where y'all are going to have exclusive access to the website for an entire week via password that will allow you guys to get in and be able to pre-order some of the new merchandise that is coming so that's pretty awesome y'all better thank melissa for giving y'all that access but y'all we is 1250 live and we're about to do another video let's get into it like I said, it's the man himself, Slapped Ham. Alan, and this is Slapped Ham. This video is titled, This, wait, this is that clip your weird mate was talking about. Interesting title. 
Let's see what he means by that. Let's go. But I'm Callan, and this is slapped ham. Let me see a slap in the ham emoji in the chat. Spam the chat. Slap hell. You're about to see some really scary videos. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. In the heart of Galveston, Texas, within the grand halls of Hotel Galvez, lies a painting that's become the subject of chilling tales and paranormal investigations. The portrait in question depicts Spanish general Bernardo de Galvez, a figure from history whose presence seems to transcend the confines of his canvas. Local folklore surrounding the painting suggests that it possesses a supernatural influence over photographs taken of it. Some claim that when flash photography is used, a mysterious anomaly emerges. The image of a skull appears to materialize within the photograph. Furthermore, according to legend, visitors must respectfully ask permission of the ghost said to inhabit the painting before taking a picture. Failure to do so, it's said, will result in the photograph being marred or ruined, or even the photographer be cursed. In February 2005, paranormal investigator Anne Whitmore embarked on a mission to uncover the truth behind these haunting claims. During her investigation at Hotel Galvez, she captured compelling evidence that lends credence to the legend. In one of her photos, the portrait of Bernardo de Galvez appears obscured by a strange white shadow. It almost resembles skulls appearing all over it, just like the legend suggests. But it wasn't just the painting that drew Whitmore's attention. As she wandered the hotel's corridors, she encountered other eerie phenomena. During the investigation, Whitmore took numerous photographs around the property. Several in the hallway stand out as chilling. In this first one, we can see a darkened corridor, nothing too out of the ordinary. However, in the second image, taken just a split second later, you can see what looks like the apparition of someone standing down the end of the hallway. He's a brightened version. That look like a lady. There's something there. It like a lady. Whitmore's findings have reignited interest in the legend of the haunted portrait of General Bernardo de Galvez. Uh oh, yeah. Heidi done came in and gifted 50 channel memberships. That's 50 more people that's in this live stream that's going to have an opportunity to join us tomorrow for the members only live stream. That's crazy. If y'all don't give her the biggest thank you, then y'all better give your channel membership back. If you was able to accept that channel member, then you're able to thank Heidi for that channel membership. Prompting speculation and debate among enthusiasts of the paranormal. So could her experiences provide validation for the enduring tales of spectral activity surrounding the painting? Sedona, Arizona, a land of red rocks and spiritual wonder, has long been a destination for seekers of the mystical and metaphysical. Renowned for its alleged vortexes, swirling centers of energy believed to facilitate healing and self-exploration. When I see places like this, I think this is where the Native Americans spent a lot of time. This just looks amazing. And Sedona draws millions of visitors each year in search of enlightenment and transcendence. The really? legend of Sedona's vortexes is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. While the entire town is considered to be a vortex in itself, certain sites within Sedona are said to pulse with particularly potent energy. Among I, I would want to live here. If I were to live anywhere in Arizona, it would be Sedona. Just because it rhymes. I love the sound of it. Sedona, Arizona. The most renowned vortex locations are Airport Mesa, Cathedral Rock, Bell Rock, and Boynton Canyon each with its own unique energy signature. That's so crazy. All the people that's going right here to the edge right here taking pictures. Perfect time right during the sunset. It's here that visitors often report feeling inspired, rejuvenated, and spiritually reawakened. I want to go. In I August 2017, the internet was ablaze with speculation when a user known as Funky Fathead claimed to have opened a portal to Sedona using a computerized tone generator. There's fracture. What the what? 
What the what? My man's over here opening portals and stuff? Where is he trying to go? In a series of video. He better watch out for aliens slip through. His funky fathead demonstrates how he combined two frequencies to create what he describes as a fracture in space. 528. And already you can see a much more stable fracture. Okay. I have to do this quick because this stuff does not last. 525. You can see there's a whole range of tones here, but 525. Heidi, who has been a channel member for 33 months, says you guys are welcome. But guess what? Jada came through and gifted yet another 50 channel membership. This is crazy. People going to be very upset that they wasn't here to snag one of these channel memberships. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Channel members only. Patreon supporters only. Y'all gonna get access to the website for an entire week. Only you guys. Patreon. Y'all gonna get 10% off. Whatever y'all want. The whole website. And we're gonna watch that movie on Patreon too. Slick, I might do it after this live stream. I got to go find it. I got to go back and see. What was the name of that movie again y'all want me to watch? I think Heather uh, recommended it. And I think somebody said it was on Amazon Prime and maybe Apple TV. Five, you're going to hear. I'm about to look on Prime right now. This leads to the alleged appearance of a portal in his bedroom. So where you go. The most astonishing revelation came when he purportedly opened a portal to Sedona itself. Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Bruh, if if he really did this, that's amazing. Like, shout out to him. But if this is edited, that's also amazing because this the looks video phenomenal. video caught the attention of Hidden Underbelly, a paranormal enthusiast from England, who attempted to reach out to Funky Fathead, but was unsuccessful. As the video gained traction, it made headlines in publications like the Daily Star, sparking widespread speculation about the existence of dimensional portals and the fate of Funky Fathead himself. You are witnessing a, uh, a gate, portal, wormhole. Despite the intrigue surrounding Funky Fathead's videos, skepticism abounds. Many believe the footage to be a clever hoax designed to captivate and mystify viewers. However, others point to Sedona's reputation as a nexus of spiritual energy, suggesting that such phenomena may indeed be possible in this enchanted landscape. But could the energy of Sedona's vortexes be potent enough to open a portal to another dimension, as Funky Fathead has claimed? As Hidden Underbelly ponders Funky Fathead's fate, one question remains. Where is he now? Did he truly stumble upon a gateway to another dimension in Sedona? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Whether he's vanished into the unknown or simply playing a prank, the mystery surrounding Funky Fathead's disappearance continues to intrigue. In a chilling incident captured on CCTV, a ghostly wheelchair was spotted repeatedly rolling backwards outside a hospital in Bangkok, Thailand on August 8, 2023. Yeah, somebody tell me what the name of the movie was again. The eerie footage shows the wheelchair sliding away from the wall, seemingly of its own accord. This prompts staff to return it to its original position.
However, the wheelchair continues to move mysteriously on subsequent occasions, despite efforts to secure it. Many speculate that the strange phenomenon could be attributed to the spirit of a former patient who met their demise within the hospital's walls. That With on. the location's history and the unexplained nature of the occurrences, some believe this could indeed be evidence of paranormal activity caught on camera. That dang old wheelchair rolling by itself. Where it, where it going? It stops. In an ongoing saga of chilling events, which we've reported on several times now, the household featured on the TikTok account Magical Poltergeist has once again captured eerie footage, reigniting the debate over the presence of a sinister entity within their home. Initially, the disturbances manifested subtly, with the homeowners experiencing unexplained shifts in mood and behaviour, but as time progressed, the occurrences escalated, leaving the couple grappling with the unsettling question is their home haunted? What the f baby? The lights are fucking flickering now, dude. Baby, stop! What the f Help! The latest instalment in this perplexing tale unfolds in their kitchen, where security footage captures a seemingly innocuous moment. Yo, I'm sorry. I just jumped. I see the movie that y'all talking about. It's called Talk To Me. And I just saw this, and that made me jump. I was oh snap! All right, so I'm gonna rent. I'm gonna rent this movie, so y'all don't have to. If you're on my Patreon, do you haven't seen this movie yet? We go. We go watch it together. I'm, I'm gonna be just like this, reacting and watching that movie on Patreon. We go. We go do that. I can't wait. Homeowner or is burning sage, a traditional method believed to cleanse spaces of negative energy. However, what follows seems to defy explanation. All right, she's sage in the crib. Smart. Very, very smart. Oh. Not, not, it wasn't enough. No. That spear too strong for that sage. The fridge door begins to swing open and shut. It's crazy. With no discernible cause. This is crazy. Rick, you've seen this 50 11 times? I ain't never seen this before. The last clip either. This latest incident adds to the string of bizarre happenings documented by the homeowners. Oh, I see the cross upside down. That, I, I, we have seen 50 11 times. Raising speculation about the true nature of the disturbances. Could this be evidence of a malevolent presence lurking within the confines of their home? Oh, Sawanda says part two of Talk To Me is already in the works. Nice. I, I can't wait to see this. I've never even seen this. I think I heard of it maybe like once or twice, maybe seen trailers here and there, but didn't think much of it. Ooh, a freaking horror movie I was going to miss? Heck no, I can't wait. With each new development, the mystery only deepens, leaving both the homeowners and viewers alike to ponder the unsettling truth behind these inexplicable occurrences. Yeah, we got almost 1,400 live viewers in here we got about six minutes left to this video if we can get a hundred more likes i'll do one more oh this is a good live stream y'all Mandy Elizabeth, a homeowner in an undisclosed location, has recently been thrust into a series of unsettling events that left her and her viewers alike questioning the safety of her property. Sharing her harrowing experiences over on TikTok under the username Mandy ASMR 22 Mandy has captured footage that sends shivers down the spines of those who have seen it. In one particularly chilling incident, Mandy found herself alone at home when her ring doorbell security system alerted her to some movement in her front yard. Heck nah, because who was that? Upon opening the app, she was met with a disturbing sight. Nah, who was that? Who that is? You need to go home, whoever you are. An unidentified individual slowly moving across her lawn. I'm calling Cap. I'm calling Cap on that. 
Because whoever that is, they walked in front of that house as if they had, they knew that they were on camera. They're, it's dark out there. How are you going to know that there's a camera right there? They made this for internet clout. Y'all got to be careful, man. When it comes to some of these paranormal videos, it's not a whole lot out there. These compilation channels that we all adore and love, there's several of them, they struggle finding new clips to put into compilation videos. And people know that, which is why they be capping. They be making some BS content, fake paranormal content, just so that their video can go inside of a paranormal compilation video. Because this right here, she tried so hard to look like a lady in white or a ghost and just failed epically, <laughs> in my opinion. Gilly chilling incident, Mandy found herself alone at home when her ring doorbell security system alerted her to some movement in her front yard. Yeah, she was home alone. Upon right, opening the app, she was met with a disturbing sight. An unidentified individual slowly moving across her lawn. The eerie footage prompted concerned viewers to suggest contacting the authorities, fearing the presence of an unhinged neighbour or a potential prowler scoping out the home. As if that wasn't alarming enough, Mandy's unsettling encounters didn't end there. In another unnerving incident, she captured footage from her infant's bedroom revealing what looks to be the same mysterious figure peering in through the window. The implications of such a sighting have left Mandy and her followers grappling with questions about the individual's intentions and the safety of her home. That would be real messed up though. Maybe that first clip she was trying to pull something off looked like a ghost or something and it fell, so she was like, I gotta do something else with this clip. What can I say that it is? Hmm, let's say that it's a potential intruder or a creepy neighbor or something. Huh, okay, we're gonna go with that story. Let's do another clip. <laughs> I'm just making horrible assumptions. All of this could be a real neighbor that's spying and creeping on her like that. But like this right this here, do y'all think that the camera would have alerted her to this image being inside the, the window. I don't know. Mysterious figure, a mentally unwell neighbor, a would-be intruder, or something even more sinister. As Mandy navigates through the unnerving ordeal, one thing remains clear, the need for vigilance and caution in the face of the unknown. Before we take a look at a chilling set of photos sent to us by one of our viewers, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our creepy and mysterious videos. Now this is crazy. 113 new channel members that have gained access to tomorrow's channel member, Patreon member only live stream. That it's crazy. That's crazy. A recent post by one of our viewers, Matt C, has sparked a wave of intrigue and speculation within our Slaptown Facebook community page. Matt shared a series of eerie photos taken at a local bowling alley in Cambridge, UK, accompanied by a poignant question. Is his late mother reaching out to him from beyond the veil? 
In his post, Matt recounts the circumstances surrounding the photos, explaining that he lost his mother in the same year they were taken. The images, captured just one second apart, reveal a striking anomaly. The first photo shows Matt and a friend sitting in the bowling alley, nothing too out of the ordinary. The second photo, however, shows something a little more mysterious. Whoa. Behind That's the two men, creepy. you can see a pallid grey figure. That's creepy. She, she looks so out of place. Matt's belief that the figure resembles his late mother has only deepened the mystery, prompting him to seek opinions and insights from fellow believers in the paranormal. Accompanying the post is a comparison photo juxtaposing an image of Matt's mother with the mysterious figure captured in the bowling alley. It does look like her. The resemblance between the two is undeniably uncanny, further fueling speculation about the nature of the apparition and its possible connection to Matt's mother. As the discussion unfolds within the community, theories abound, with some suggesting that the figure could indeed be Matt's mother, returning to watch over and comfort him in this time of need. Others offer alternative explanations, such as camera glitches, another unnoticed person passing by, or even just a trick of the light. Ultimately though, the true nature of the figure remains shrouded in mystery, leaving Matt and the community to ponder the possibility of a supernatural visitation. Whether it be a comforting presence from beyond or an inexplicable anomaly captured by chance, one thing is certain. The photos serve as a poignant reminder of the enduring connection between loved ones, even beyond the bounds of mortal life. Absolutely. It's so crazy. It said that that image was taken in the same year that he lost his mother. His mother doesn't look too old here. She might have had some health issues. But that reminds me, the, year, the picture that you guys have seen circulating on the internet for the past few years, whenever I post a picture on Mother's Day or on my mom's birthday, is the same picture that I took the same year she passed away. And what's crazy is I took that picture and in my mind, I was thinking... You know what? I need to take more pictures of my mother because no telling how much more time I have left with her. And that was the last picture of her that I ever took with that thought in mind. It's so crazy. This is her birthday month. Happy birthday, mama. You might have heard about the mysterious case of the green children of Woolpit. But have you heard the full story? We took a deep dive over on our second channel, Slapdown Mysteries. Which we're still gonna check out real soon, y'all. As a matter of fact, next week, next week we're gonna check out one of Slap Ham's Mysteries video. Cause you guys have been recommending it and we're gonna do just that. But we hit our goal this evening of 800 likes during this live stream. So that means it's time for one more video. Let me get it together for y'all. Let me get it together. And we're about to check it out. Thank y'all again for hanging out with your boy this evening. As y'all can see, I had stepped away for a little minute while we're preparing for this next video. I stepped away for a minute. I went to the dryer to go get. No way. And it's How got all these. freak is all that noise? Hold on. I went to go get something out the dryer. Let me show y'all what I went to go get right quick. Hold on, hold on. Cause now I'm about to stay nice and warm. It's a little chilly in here. Y'all. Is it upside down? Look. This right here is the ghost of real blanket. This the big one. This is the huge one. Look, I got it over my head. As it's holding up over my head, it's touching the floor. And this is probably at 6162. Bro. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. That feels good. It's nice and warm. Just got out the dryer. <laughs> Yay. I'm a little cheesy. I'm cheesy. What's that? What's that on my beard? Back down. 
Let's watch. This one is titled, These Weird Vids Will Have You Pointing at the TV Like DiCaprio. These titles is getting real interesting. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. From the eerie outskirts of Riverland Berry, South Australia, <laughs> a peculiar piece of CCTV footage has emerged, leaving one slapped ham viewer, Kayana S, perplexed and unnerved. It feels so nice. Positioned adjacent to a cemetery, Kayana's home security camera inadvertently captured a scene that defies conventional explanation. And yes, they will be available for pre-order tomorrow when I shut down the website for the channel members, okay? Take a look. I see what could be... Whoa, 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 whoa! That's a time traveler. That's a... Or teleporter one. This fool here don't even got to take buses. I wish I could do this. That's amazing. This fool... I, look, you wouldn't even got to drive. They just... How you just come out of nowhere? Thank God for the security camera. Poop. What the? Wow, she just got teleported there. No sh and she's ready to walk again. And she's ready to walk again. Yeah. That was perfect teleportation. Bro, she does this all the time. She teleports exactly right there. Because if you teleport in any other random spot, that's going to be hella weird. And then she probably teleports there at a specific time, too. Like, cause if you try to teleport early in the day, somebody might be standing right there. You just teleport right on top of them and then freak them the heck out. A figure clad in a suit and clutching a briefcase materializes into view. Bro. Wow, she just got teleported there. No sh and she got a bag too? What's in the bag? I wanna know what's in the bag. She's ready to walk again. Kayana wonders whether we're seeing a time traveler caught on camera. Hogwarts. I can see her on this camera. Bang. I seen her. Speculation swirls as viewers dissect the mysterious occurrence. The figure's attire and abrupt appearance lends credence to the time traveler hypothesis. Yeah, this is so nice. However, is... as discussions brew among the Yeah, and yes, I did place the order for the bigger ones. Y'all saw the smaller ones in the in the in the live stream yesterday. This is the bigger one. I'm so glad that we're getting the bigger ones. Slap Tam community theories abound. Is this a glitch in the fabric of time, or could there be a rational, albeit unconventional, explanation awaiting discovery? But um, the smaller ones are going to be available on the website. The the samples, it's like five of them. So y'all are going to have your opportunity to grab those tomorrow. Wow, she just got teleported there. No sh And she's ready to walk again. A Reddit user by the handle jhood3119 has stirred a wave of unease on the popular Humanoid Encounters subreddit with a chilling piece of CCTV security footage. Yo, shout out to all the new Patreon supporters. Yeah, we about to watch that movie. The clip, purportedly captured in upstate New York, offers a perplexing glimpse into an eerie nocturnal encounter. Bro, what the freak of nature is that? What the? That thing had some big old feet or shoes. It looked tall. It had long strides and white eyes. And it was black and skinny. According to the OP, the footage originates from a security camera installed by a friend troubled by inexplicable disturbances unsettling his dog. As the video unfolds, a figure, gaunt and peculiar, slithers stealthily across the property. Man, somebody creeping All on your while, land, bro. The homeowner, armed with a flashlight, can be seen on the far right of the screen. Bro, no, you're kidding me. That's crazy. Imagine you out there. You out there with a freaking flashlight, right? And something just charges your way super quick and you don't even know it. Like, how, how did he not hear it? 
Notably, the dog follows the stranger with its eyes in the bottom left. I didn't even notice the dog is right down there watching him. And corner of the screen. How does he not this see This unsettling that? footage raises a myriad of questions, prompting speculation and conjecture within the online community. I swear you would hear that thing crunching through the snow. The flashlight even like went on like in the same direction for a second, and the homeowner still didn't even notice. Is this an elaborate hoax, or does it offer a genuine glimpse into the unknown? That's crazy. This is a clip from 2017. I've never seen this before. Footage in the comments down below. Well, I don't think it's a hoax. Well, if it's a hoax, then they staged that scene. But it wasn't an edited clip because these are the same characteristics of these low compression cameras. When, you know, everything is black and white, you walk through and you're just going to blend in with the scenery. Rather, you're a human, a ghost, a whatever, alien, everything blends in. Recently, a peculiar image emerged over on our Slaptam Facebook community group, courtesy of one of our viewers, Robin J. Robin recounts a chilling experience from her visit to Salem, Massachusetts a couple of years back. While exploring the historic graveyard and surrounding areas with her sister, Robin decided to capture a snapshot of one of the town's oldest homes. Upon reviewing her photographs later, Robin made a spine-tingling discovery. In one of the images, she noticed an unexpected... I just heard a very unsettling noise outside my window. Give me a moment. Just just 30 seconds, maybe less. I got to investigate because, you know, I don't like whatever that was I just heard. I can't go that way. It's just, just it's too tight. Nothing. Interesting. There's nothing there. Oh crap, what I just knock over. Oh, I'm back. <sighs> Presence. Oh, what the freak? How you see that? A figure peering out from a window of the ancient house. The figure is tiny. What makes this sighting particularly eerie is Robin's claim that she was all alone at the time the photo was taken and the house was inaccessible to the public, ruling out the possibility of someone lurking just inside. Describing the figure as a man clad in period attire, blue clothes adorned with an ascot and sporting dark hair and facial hair, Robin raises the eerie possibility. Could this be the spectral manifestation of a denizen from Salem's past? So what are your thoughts on Robin's eerie encounter? Do you believe she captured a ghostly visage from centuries past? Or is there a more mundane explanation lurking behind the window pane? Share your theories and insights, and we'll be keeping a close eye on this ghostly tale from Salem. This next one was posted to the Facebook page, Disbelieve Paranormal. It's an old image that's been floating around the internet for some years oh, now. Wow. No one seems to know the exact origin, but it shows a woman taking a photo of herself in a mirror. That's Eerily, just over her left shoulder, you can see what looks like the face of another woman. That looks a bit like Paranormal. Uploaded Paranolia. with the caption, please tell me that's your shy daughter, the picture quickly spread around old forums. For years, viewers have been trying to debunk this eerie capture, but often fall short. So what do you think's been caught here? And have you seen this image before? Let us know in the comments down below. recent video shared on Facebook by the page Like V007 has stirred significant buzz within the UFO and alien enthusiast circles. Captured from what appears to be the window seat of a commercial airplane in Colombia, the footage shows something rather perplexing.
Well, some viewers speculate. We've seen this. We've seen this. I did this video in my recent um, UFO compilation video. If you have, if you guys haven't checked that out, that was a really good one. It's, it's on my channel. Um, and then I also did another TikTok conspiracy theory video yesterday that's doing very well. If you, you guys want to see that and have more content to watch of mine after this, go check that video out. I posted it yesterday. Ding. While others remain skeptical, attributing the encounter to a mundane object drifting in the sky. A bizarre video circulating within our Slaptam Facebook community page has left viewers perplexed and slightly unnerved. Take a look. Bro, what Described the freak? By some as resembling a land jellyfish, whatever it is, it appears massive and anomalous against the backdrop of the forest. What the what? Despite fervent discussion within the community, no concrete explanation has emerged. While some suggest sophisticated CGI is a plausible explanation, others have noted that it could be a rooted clump of bamboo, highlighting the other branches of bamboo just in the foreground. As to why this clump would be hurtling down the waterfall remains unclear. So where do you land on this? What do you think this strange object could be? Let us know in the comments down below. Before we take a look at a photo of what many are calling conclusive evidence that Bigfoot really does exist, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and intriguing videos. Bro, our viewers, Stacy T that, brought this next one. Why does they look so human? To our attention over on Facebook. The photograph allegedly surfaced just a couple of weeks ago over on Reddit. Many are hailing it as conclusive evidence of the existence of Bigfoot. But it could be fake. However, the image's authenticity has come under scrutiny, with some suggesting it might be sourced from a documentary, though the exact source remains elusive. Others think it's an AI-generated image created... That's what I think. ...using several composite images as its source material. Exactly. Origins aside, however, some skeptics argue that it could simply be a depiction of a known primate species. However, keen observers note distinct characteristics that deviate from the norm. These differences have fueled speculation that this could indeed be the legendary Bigfoot. You see the nose on this thing? The debate rages on. Is this photographic evidence the breakthrough needed to confirm the existence of Bigfoot? Or is it merely another blip in the ongoing saga of cryptid encounters? Only time and further investigation will provide the answers. What's your take on this curious image? Have you ever heard the eerie and true story of Hollywood star Natalie Wood's tragic death? We took a deep dive into this disturbing case over on our Slaptown Mysteries channel. Oh man, y'all, we've made it. We've made it to the end of the live stream. D -d Look, we've seen so many good clips that we've never came across before. The only one that I think we've seen, and I want to talk a little bit more about this one. This here, if I don't know what to expect, like, it's so weird that the rest of the scenery interacted with this thing, but I feel like it's, it's some sort of branch or something. I don't know what to think. My mind is just like boggled, but this is the only clip that we've seen tonight, 50, 11 times, and then obviously that upside down cross chick, but that was, you know, I wasn't even looking at that one. Y'all caught that one. Anyway, y'all, we made it to the end of the live stream. Thank y'all again for hanging out with your boy. Look what I'm holding. Let me show y'all what I'm holding right quick. 
I'm going to be giving this to my friend who recently lost her mother because she really wanted it. But this is the same one that I was just holding up a minute ago. But this is the smaller one. This is the smaller one. Ugh. See, it don't, it don't wrap all the way around real good, you know. But I will have the big ones available for you guys soon. This is the big boy right here. It's that big thing right here. It's that huge one. Sheesh. Yeah, this is the one that y'all can expect. The big one. That full coverage one. I love it. But yep, that's it. That's all I got for y'all this evening. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with your boy for the end of the week live stream. Patreon supporters, channel members, get excited. Because tomorrow, y'all get your own special live stream. But anyway, I'm about to get up out of here so I can prepare for that live stream. And yeah, I got to I gotta do some work. I got to do some work. Let me shout out some people that was copying some merch real quick on the website. Because I always do that for you guys. Let me shout out some folks. Uh, Larry, shout out to you. Randall, shout out to you. And Delia, I think that's how you say your name. Shout out to you. I'm going to be sending that stuff out first thing in the AM. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support. But I'm out of here. Y'all be safe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. This was fun. We had a good time. See ya.